Well, hello. Hoping that y'all can see me. We are going to talk about joining the army. So basically, it says, congratulations on your decision to join the greatest army in the world. This is one step of the endless process to join the United States Army. Fill out this packet completely to the best of your knowledge. Even though this packet is required to be completed entirely, it is not a contract to join the United States Army. Have common mistakes, it says, is using the same reference more than once, missing complete addresses, having gaps within time frames, not using full dates, missing family members and in-laws, not listing deceased family members, missing phone numbers. Note these documents must be originals or certified true copies. Social Security Number, Birth Certificate, Driver's License, ID, High School Diploma, Passport, Marriage Certificate, Medical Documentation, Naturalization Certificate, Alien Registration, Divorce Decree, College Degree, College Dish Transcript, DD-214, DD-368, Parents Naturalization, Spouse in ID if you're married, Spouse as Social Security Number, Defendants if you have Dependents, a Dependents Social Security and Birth Certificate. Remember, this is a job you are applying for. So... Basically, the army is just basically like a job. On the second page, you got to fill out the application completely. Legible information, which is your last name, your home address, your first name, middle name, all that. Your race, your ethic, your religion, you know, date of birth, born, and where you were born at. That's the second page. I'm going to help my son fill this out. My son is 19. Very proud of him. And it says the session is a medical pre-screen report. Um, <clears throat> this, I think, has to be filled out by his doctor or something? Oh, no, by him. Okay, so basically, um, wait, is this by the doctor? Privacy X, screen report, tell you about the name, or the doc, I guess the doctor does this. This basically tells you we have asthma, you know, medical history and stuff. <clears throat> the next page is more medical history. <laughs> wow, well, they like ask you a lot of medical history, like for real. And the next page is no more medical history. <laughs> and if you've been hospitalized, the following page is personal screening. Um, these are the questions, so I'm just gonna tell you. Do you have a previous marriage? Have you ever been divorced? Are you legally separated? Did you have marriage and all? Have you been a widow? Do you presently reside with cohabitants? Have you used or any other names? Have you fathered? Oh, this is all stuff they ask. Do you have custody? If you have kids, more screening. Okay. And they ask about reports information, whether we go in case that's still expunged, otherwise stricken. From the court record, charge of dismissed, list involvement, agency, if you have ever been arrested, charged, cited, held, or detained, and asked if you ever been locked up. Basically, my son's never been locked up, so he's good. And these are just yes and no answers, so that's very simple. Mm -hmm. The next question is, is this sort? Another thing, yes and no answers, basically asking, have you been ever locked up once again? And he's never so He could just say that. And do he do drugs? No, he don't do drugs, so that's okay. The next one is more screening still and they just ask if you have so what he would do because he's never been locked up or anything he'll put not available because he did not do it so he don't need to fill it out you know so that's just simple uh once again he asked date of offense and all so all he do is just you just feel not not available because you never been in that process of none of that stuff. So when he feel this out, I'll let him know, you know, you just put not actable basically because you never been in trouble. The next step is basically technology information. In the last seven years, have you legally without proper authorization? Assess, attempt to assess information technology. It's like yes or no. They ask you uh, group member association. They ask you residency, complete the entry below regarding living over the last 10 years. Basically, he would say he was living with us, I guess, whatever, and stuff like that. And um, basically, renting with his mom and father. Then, you know, the next one is residency once again. They just add some different references and um, information for above address and stuff like that. That's the next page. And they ask more. Well, some of the stuff he don't really got to fill out because he <laughs> he been living with his mom since 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? 
Then this part right here is his employment where he would fill out his job information. You know, and he ain't been working it that long. So he probably say about about um, a year. Mm -hmm. And this is, and this is, you know, the rest of them, you know, not applicable because he's just been working there for a year. Then it just asks for your foreign history, which he could mark no because he's not married and nothing like that. So I'm just telling you what it goes through. <laughs> it's like a damn application for a job, y'all. They ask you a lot of crazy questions. And this is what it is to get into the army. Um, yeah, and then they do a, a background investigation. Um, this basically is yes or no. Have you ever served in the military? He say no. It's just yes or no answers. Uh, have you ever served civilian and stuff like that? Financial history and stuff like that. They just ask those questions. Then they ask education questions. What school did you graduate from and stuff like that? And then let's see what else they have more about if you i'm so sorry my god because i don't want to mess up with my son's application <clears throat> and he's taking a test on thursday so we'll let you know how that go and if all well goes well he wants then i'll let you know what he want to be i'm i'm very proud of him and basically this is just asking for the schools and stuff you know and everything and then the last thing is basically says the United States of America authorization for release of information. So that's all. And this is the booklet. Let me just make it nice and neat for him. Okay. And, um, oh, I didn't do this. He did. So basically this is the authorization. So he has to sign his signature, his full name, his social security number. So that's what that is. And like I said, it looks like this. So it says that. Okay. And it just says, congratulations, to U.S. Army. So that's all. I just wanted just to show y'all what my son is about to get into. Um, with that being said, this is God is Red. Sending love and blessings to everyone. All right. Peace. Be quiet. How in the hell do I...